Hi, it's time for another verb of the day. Today's verb is brush. Let's look at a few definitions. The first definition is to sweep, paint, clean, polish with a brush. So you might be thinking of brushing your hair. A second meaning for the word brush is to remove by brushing or by lightly passing over. So this action might not be with an object. It might be like doing something like this, right? Like brushing something off of my shirt. The third definition is to touch lightly and gently. You're going to see an example of this as a phrasal verb as well but it's if you kind of accidentally touch someone, maybe as uh, they're walking by. So it's not you run into them, uh, but again, just a, a very light touch. Brush is a regular verb. To make the progressive tense, we just need to add ing to make brushing. To make the past and participle forms, we need to add ed. Because this verb ends in an unvoiced sh sound, the ed is going to make a t sound. Brushed. Brushed. Let's look at some phrasal verbs now. The first phrasal verb we're going to look at is to brush something away. And it means that someone is refusing to accept or listen to something that someone else says. So in an example sentence, they brush any criticism away. Another phrasal verb you might hear is to brush someone off. And that means uh, that somebody is ignoring or paying very little attention. And in an example sentence, he tried to explain it to her, but she just brushed him off. Another phrasal verb you might hear is brush over. And it means to just barely mention someone or something. Here is an example. My history teacher has brushed over many important historical events. So when we use this phrasal verb, brush over, usually we're hoping for people to give us more detail, more information, but um, something's being shared very, very quickly. The next phrasal verb you're going to, uh, we're going to talk about is brush past. And this is the one that connects to the third definition we were looking at earlier. It means to pass something or someone touching lightly. She brushed past him in order to leave the room. The final phrasal verb we'll look at today is brush up. And it means to improve something by studying. Here it is in a sentence. I'm going to brush up on my Spanish this weekend. Today, let's practice using brush in the simple present, present progressive, and simple future. We'll start with simple present. And remember, when we're talking uh, and, and using the simple present verb tense, we're generally talking about facts. We're talking about habits and routines, um, perhaps current states, how we, how we feel in a particular moment. In the affirmative, if our subject is he, she, or it, we normally add s. But because this verb ends with sh, we're going to add es. Okay. Here it is in a sentence. She brushes her teeth in the morning and before bed. There is a habit or routine. In the negative, we're going to use do not and our base verb with the subjects they, we, you, or I. And we'll use do not and our base verb uh, for the subjects he, she, and it.
Here is an example. Those nurses don't brush off patients' questions. So this sentence is saying um, nurses don't ignore patients' questions. So um, somebody was asking, they might go, oh, you're fine, you're fine. That's being brushed off, right? not being listened to. If we want to make a question in the simple present, we're going to begin using do uh, and then our uh, subject, if the subject is I, you, we, or they, or we'll use does with subjects he, she, and it. Here's a question asking about a habit. Do you brush your hair each day? Next, let's look at the present progressive. We're using this verb tense to describe something that is happening right now or an action that is in progress. Okay. To make the present progressive, we're going to use the present form of me, so that's am, is, or are, and then we'll use the progressive form of the verb, so the ing form. Here is an example. They're brushing up on their guitar skills during the quarantine. Okay. So here, uh, I have the contraction with uh, the subject, they are, uh, and then our ing form. If we want to make negative present progressive, we just need to insert not after our be verb. Here is an example. I'm not brushing off your suggestion. If we want to make a question for the present progressive, we're going to start with our be verb, then our subject, then the ing form. Is he brushing up on his multiplication facts today? So uh, that phrase multiplication facts, you might not know exactly what I mean, but uh, the idea of two times two is four, two times three is six, uh, etc. Finally, let's look at the simple future. To make a simple future, we have a couple different ways we can do it. Today, let's focus on using be, going to, and our base verb. With be, we're going to use the present form. So am, is, or are. Here's an example sentence in the affirmative. I'm going to brush past many people while walking through the crowded event. If we want to make the negative, we just need to insert not after our be verb. He's not going to brush the dog in the next few days. And finally, if we want to make a question with simple future, we're going to move our uh, be verb to the front. Are you going to brush over the most interesting part of the story? Let's look at a few related words to our verb brush. So you might remember from the first definition of our verb brush, it, uh, it used uh, that same word, but as a noun. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, there are a few different noun meanings for brush. I've selected two that I think are maybe the more common ones you could hear. The first is land covered with shrubs or low woody plants. So um, you might think of this as uh, not grass, right, which is really low to the ground, but not trees either, which tend to be very tall, but kind of something in between that. Um, and if you have uh, a lot of those plants uh, in a particular area, someone might refer to that land as brush. So here it is in a sentence. Let's hike through the brush to the forest. The second noun meaning for a brush, again, is probably what you think of when you hear this word. It's a device composed of bristles, typically set into a handle and used especially for sweeping, smoothing, scrubbing, or painting. So I found a nice little picture that has a collection here of all types of different brushes. So here you can see a paintbrush, 
um, here a hair brush. Um, this looks maybe like a makeup brush to me. Um, and here's a brush you might use to um, use uh, with our example sentence here. You should use that brush to scrub the pan. Okay. So you might hear of uh, all sorts of different examples of brushes. Um, and the reason is really just to specify what type or what is the purpose uh, or use of that, that particular brush. Another word you might occasionally hear is airbrush. Right? Um, and you might hear it used as a noun as um, a device that sprays paint using compressed air. Um, so uh, for really large projects, it would take a long time if we were just using a paint brush. So um, one way you could hear this used maybe is the car was painted with an airbrush. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you'll give uh, the word brush a little practice in uh, writing or speaking. Feel free to make sentences in other verb tenses and leave comments on this video and I'll offer my feedback. Have a great day!